It's that time, Patreon Saturdays. Today, we conclude our chat with Miss Dana Wilkie about Jen Shaw, what she really knows, and we are finally going to break down what happened a few weeks ago, the day after Dorit's home was broken into, when Teddy Mellencamp accused Dana of being the one who is responsible for Dorit's home invasion. That is basically more or less what happened, according to the headlines of Page Six and all these other places. That's on Patreon right now, and Dana talks about the DMs she got from Teddy and PK and what is going on. I mean, how, why these people are reading blogs and web pages and posts. I mean, I don't know, but I'm going to keep my opinion to myself. Dana tells the story best about what she says these DMs said from Teddy and PK and Dorit. And we are going to talk more about Jen Sean, what she knows, and with Salt Lake Housewives uh, she's heard from. Here's a few little examples of uh, our conversation today. Okay, so here's uh, the scoop. Uh, basically, what happened was I posted on my Instagram what was to be a kind of blind and it yes. was the Secretary of State of California, uh, one page document that, you know, you file when you like have a company and it had uh, an office address on it for the company. And then the company name was a street LLC. So it'd be like uh, uh, Wilshire LLC or uh, uh I don't know, Rodeo LLC or be like, you know, I don't know, Broadway LLC in New York. Okay. And it was a big street. It wasn't a small street, just to be clear. And that's all I posted. And what I said is, um, guess why I posted this? Okay. (laughs) That's all I wrote. And what happened was PK saw the blind. And so PK takes, uh, PK uh, took, my post and and reposted the legal document plus like a picture of me onto his Instagram of like 150,000 followers. So wait, and then, just back up one second. So you just posted this and then like how much after that did PK see it and post it? Like re- like within an hour. So then he reposted it and he wrote uh, this, you know, Dana's got my see you next Tuesday week award. Because apparently he started doing this. Yeah, he started doing a see you next Tuesday weekly award, I guess. And so he says, this is a public document that anyone can get. And there is no scandal. Uh, She's trying to imply that I'm a sketchy, corrupt, like something or other. I'm paraphrasing you know, I'm not reading it, but it was something to that effect that she's trying to say that I'm like a sketchy person or whatever, but it's just a regular document and there's nothing basically sketchy about it. You know, she wants to use this to, to be famous or some, some like other dig right on that front thirsty, or I don't know, usual crap. Right. (laughs) Okay. So, and he leaves it up and we, uh, I write him back I repost what he posts on my feed. Anyway, we left it at that. We go to bed. The next day I wake up, his post is deleted. And there's people saying that Dorit's been robbed, but I don't really understand the full story because I just like woke up and happened to glance at my Instagram. And so I'm like, whatever. And I actually didn't think much of it because again, there's nothing with her home address or anything like that on what I posted. It was like ridiculous. All of a sudden, out of the blue, Teddy writes something in my feed. And I almost never see it because I get so many. So I can't even keep up with them. So I just happen to glance at that section and I see Teddy Mellencamp and she's coming for me in my feed. And I'm like, what? And she writes uh, under my post, this is the reason Dorit got robbed. You know, something like that blaming me and my post. Okay. Did you so ever like, speak to Teddy in the world before this? Her and I've had a fight. We had a fight, but it, it was a public fight over Twitter. It, what was it about? And like, just briefly and when, like a year ago or like, it was like, ago? yeah, like a year ago. And okay. Yeah, it had to do with her being really boring and bumping her head on her father's shadow or something like that. It was a joke I made anyway. She didn't care for that, would she? You know, I mean, I could understand. I don't mind. It doesn't matter. It's so silly. 
I, I listen, I'm like, I was cool. She came for me that night. She, you know, and I had fun with it back. It's, it's just, you know, it's, that's all like, that's fun and games. A the thing Jack and Diane, huh? But not, you know, you don't say someone caused a robbery that was done at gunpoint. Like that's not a fun and game. That's it's like a, serious. It's a, and, it's and it could have put, it could have put me in danger. It really could have, but it's okay. I'm not going to go that like heavy because I'm not that guy, but it could have. And um, so I responded back to her and I said, Teddy, this document is public record. There is no address on it. There is no way this causes robbery. Like that was what I wrote back under my own post, under her post. Anyway. That's a lot uh, nicer than I would have responded. It was crazy. Okay. And then what happened was, I guess, Teddy reported both posts to the Instagram people. Really? And they, yeah. And they pulled both down and guess what? They asked me if I wanted them reviewed. And I said, yes, please review them. And guess what Instagram did? They put them right back up again. Really? <laughs> 15 minutes. It was back up again. Okay. So I knew right there, I was like, I'm safe now for sure. <laughs> like, Cause they're straight. Right. right. Yeah. Like now I mean, it's like, we let, let's go for a lawsuit here. Cause I have a proof. Okay. I like so that. then, so then what happens is Teddy Mellencamp DMs me and she says to me, uh, you've got to take those posts down. You know, what's the right thing to do. And I said, I don't know what you're talking about. I said, Teddy, not PK, not Dorit has told me to take it down. But since you've DM'd me privately and asked me nicely, as a courtesy, I'll take it down, but I don't have to. So then I took it down immediately and I left it there. And then I texted her and said, uh, oh, page six is running a story because I got notified like right when this was happening that page six started running the story that Teddy Mellencamp said I was the reason that she got robbed and they were promoting it hard. OK, so did and I page was six see it. They saw her comment on your Instagram. Well, I said to her, did you leak this story or tell page six? Like, why is page six writing about this? And Teddy said, no, I didn't. And I was like, huh, I don't I don't totally believe her. I think she did. But that's just me. You and think Teddy leaked the fact that she I think PK, Dorit and Teddy leaked that story to page six Saying and then what, that Dana Wilkie caused that this. I caused the robbery to, to cause me a backlash to give me a backlash but that's not what happened by the way I didn't get a backlash so this is the shocking part so <laughs> what ends up happening is that um yeah I mean I'm not done hearing about this either and it's great and we are going to talk more about uh Jen Sean what uh Dana has found out and who she's spoken to in the Salt Lake camp but I am not done I am just starting I have so many more questions for her about these DMs and emails and whatever other form of communication was between her and PK and Dury and Teddy and I know you guys want to know this too so head on over to Patreon and that is what I'm about to grill Dana on this we are just getting started with this little clip that you just heard. I've got a lot more to ask her. Enjoy.